All right, I'm gonna shoot a quick video on how to use these mountable turners. So when you order, you'll get the mountable turner. You'll get brackets with hardware inside. You also get a brass cap with an Allen wrench inside. Inside the brass cap, it has little set screws. You'll get two wood screws. You also get the gripper a roller stand and a template. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a drill with a drill bit eighth inch and a pencil to mark. Take your template, whatever sur surface you want to mount it to, you can either mount it flat so that the brackets be like this and the plate will sit inside or you can mount the plate like this onto the edge of the board kind of like my full complete setups are but in this demonstration we're going to use the brackets so find the place where you want to mount it four holes on the template mark each hole your eighth inch drill bit to drill pilot holes. Take your bracket, your screwdriver. Inside the bracket, you'll see the two holes. That's where the screws go. You want these holes, if you look on the back side of the bracket, there are no holes. On the front, there are. You want these facing the way that your, your turner faces, the arm comes out. So in this case, we want it coming out this way. I'm actually going to speed this process up. I have a bit to screw it in instead of hand tightening it and move this video along. Do the same thing for the other bracket. Inside the same package where your brackets came in, you'll see four set screws. And inside there, there are also these little plastic. You can see them right here. I'll take them out of the package. Maybe they'll make it easier to see. Don't lose them. They look like this. Each one of these goes on the end of the set screw. You got your Phillips end. The rubber gasket goes on the back side, like that. This is used to press against the plate. Take your set screw. Barely get it started where it won't come out.
take your plate. If you look at the plate, you have the motor shaft coming out this side, and that's the back of the motor. You want the shaft facing out towards the way your tumbler's going to go. Fairly snug it up, all of them. Got them all snugged up. Tighten down. You don't have to tighten too too hard. Just enough to keep that plate from moving around. There's and they're good. And it's possible over time, after hundreds of tumblers that you make, these might come loose. You can just come in here with a screwdriver and tighten them up a little bit. Next, you'll have your PVC cap with this brass fitting. Inside this bag comes with a little Allen wrench. Take your Allen wrench. If you look, it might be hard to see. These little pins right here, you want to turn them counterclockwise to where you don't see those pins inside that shaft anymore. Or if you want, you can completely remove them, but be careful because you drop them, they're extremely hard to find. Once you got them backed out far enough, if you, let me try to zoom in here. Okay. If you look right here on the side of the shaft, there's a little hole. These black set screws you need to line up with that hole, push it on. If it's not going on smoothly, most likely your, your set screws are not screwed far enough, so back them out just a little bit. There we go. Another thing I wanted to point out. It's kind of hard to try to use this Allen wrench when the, the holes are facing this way. So you can actually take the Allen wrench, put it through the hole in the shaft, get it lined up and down. That'll make it easier to put this on. Tighten it up to where it's about, to where the set screw is down inside the brass fitting. Take it, turn it. The other side. Sorry, my arm's in the way. I'm trying to do this while she can the camera. Back it out some. Alright, so we got the motor on, the plates mounted. The uh, next thing we're going to do is the gripper arm. Spin it on about to where it kind of snugs up. This is where you're going to want to mark to find where to put the roller stand. So if you look at this PVC, there is a piece on it right here. You want the bearings to be centered with this piece of PVC. These roller stands are height adjustable. Unscrew the wing nut slides up and down. So if you have a different type of setup and you didn't buy this, you can still use this for other setups. So we're going to put it in the center here, raise it up just a little bit, tighten your wing nut, and we've got it marked in the center of the pipe, lined up this way, take a pencil, mark on the edges of the roller stand. It uh, also comes with the roller stands if you buy the complete setup. It comes with a, a washer. Let me see if I can see them. It comes with a screw and a rubber washer. So that's what we're going to use to mount this 
roller stand on here. I think it's easier to go ahead and remove the arm real quick. Move the roller stand out of the way. We've got our marks here. I usually just take a drill or a screwdriver, screw it in a few turns, and then back it back out. Go to the other side where you have your mark, screw it in a few turns, back out. Put your roller stand back up here, you got your holes marked. And the screwdriver here, just a little taller. best to, whenever you're leveling it, you want your the base of your, where your turn is sitting, level with this arm. So if it was like this, all your epoxies want to run this way. And if it was like this, it would want to drip like this. When you put that tumbler on here, or the, yeah, the tumbler, the weight's going to want to pull it down. That's why I made this. Keep your arm up. You're going about the same distance from here to here. And then lock it into place. Kind of keep your wing nut up at the top of the roller stand. It makes it a little more sturdy. Now you're set for your, your tumbler. I'm going to pause the big uh, video for just one second. Okay, so my wife is actually using all of our new tumblers. So I'm going to use one of my kids here. Zoom. I find it easier to put the arm in the cup first before you put it on the turner. A lot of people, it doesn't matter, you can put it on while it's on the turner. I prefer to take it off because it's easier to center it up. Put it in the cup, spin the wheel. This is what happens. You start spinning the wheel, the arm starts to open. Or you can just push it and it'll open up all the way to kind of get it started faster. So get it in there. You want this wheel that spins, the bottom of it, you want it flush to the top of the cup. And just snug it up, you don't have to do it tight right now. And it's in there nice and snug. You want to look down there and make sure it's pretty centered. This one looks pretty centered to me. And then you want to tighten it probably about, I would say as tight as maybe like you're putting a cap on a Coke bottle or something. You'll hear it start going, Kind of popping your nose, getting tight, right about there. And then take it, spin it. To me, it looks like it's off just a hair. There you go, that looks perfect. Give it about another quarter of a turn. You're good to go. When you're putting it on the turner, don't turn it with the cup, turn the PVC pipe. Use your hand to support it. Turn the pipe. That's it. Plug it in. Turn it on. hope this helps people out, whether it be to install this or to use it or any of the above. Thanks.